Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the lab number 7.2.6 for our CCNA course or CCNA trainings on KB trainings. Today, we're going to do some AAA configuration. We are going to focus specifically on RADIUS. As we saw in the previous lessons, RADIUS is one of the popular protocols that are used for AAA, which means authentication, authorization, and accounting. So today, we're going to spend some time in Packet Tracer to show you how you can quickly configure RADIUS. And just like I said, it's a packet tracer lab. And we're going to use these few commands here. We're going to use ANU model to enable uh, AAA in Cisco devices. And we're going to use um, this command to identify the radio server. As you can see, we have the IP address here and then the secret password or, or the password. And this third command will help you use authentic um, AAA for authentication when it comes to login. And we're going to point to the radio server. And then the last command will just do the same thing for the enable password. And we're going to point to the radio server as well. So in this lab, I assume that you already have SSH enabled on your on your devices. But I'm going to show you, this is actually the, the packet tracer design that we're going to work on. So we already have, or I'm going to configure SSH on these devices here. We have a switch right here and we have a router. So these are going to be the two devices we're going to log into. And then we have two laptops, I mean, two uh, workstations. We have a desktop here and a laptop. And this is our server. This is the radio server where we're going to run our service. Uh, it has the IP of 10.0.0.2, and these are the different IPs for the different devices that we have around here. And um, yeah, let's get started. I'm going to create, actually, I'm going to create two users as you can see here, my first user is going to be admin with password, password. The second user is going to be Guy with the password, Bisuku. So this is all we need in this lab. It might be a quick one. And if you are watching this on YouTube, this is part of my CCNA trainings on kbtrainings.com. If you want to study for the CCNA, understand everything, go and pass the exam. You should take my course. It's really good. It goes from zero to engineer. So um, check it out on kbtrainings.com. And if you like the video on YouTube, make sure you like it and subscribe to the channel as well. What I can start with is making sure these devices are up and also making sure SSH is enabled. We can start with the router. I can come in here. Let me make this a little bigger. So I can come in a router and first of all, we need to give it um, a host name. So I'm going to do host name is R1. And to enable SSH, we know that because we already had a lesson about enabling SSH on a Cisco device, we know the steps that are involved. That's what I'm going to do here. So if, if you forgot this, you can go back to that lesson and, and watch it. So I'm going to do IP domain name and call it r1.local. I'm going to create a crypto um, key. Um, key generate RSA and I'm going to so now SSH is enabled so I'm going to make sure line VTY 0 to 15 transport input is going to be SSH and then I can exit from here so now I need to go in the NFS gigabit 00, 0 and I need to put the IP address 10.0.1 slash 8 all right, and I'll do no shut to enable the port, and that's it. So we are set on the router. So now let's go ahead and configure the switch. We're going to do the same thing. And just like you noticed, I didn't enable um, AAA yet. So it's not there yet. So I'm going to configure the switch first. Configure terminal, hostname, switch1, IP domain name, Oops, what am I doing? Domain name is switch1.local. And then um, crypto um, key generates RSA. And line VTY, I was about to do console, VTY 0 to 15, VTY 0 to 15. Um, here I'll do transport input SSH. That's it. 
So just to make sure I can ping the router, let's, oh no, I don't have an IP yet. So configure terminal, interface VLAN one, IP address 10.0.0.5 slash eight, no shutdown. I'm going to ping 10.0.0.1. It should go through. Yep, it's fine. And then if I go to the to the device, the devices already have the IP addresses, just like I showed here. So it's already configured. So what I can try now is to see if I can ping my router and my switch. Ping that that zero zero one. Yep, I'm pinging this, the router without any problem. Can I ping the switch? I should be able to. Yes, I'm pinging the switch without any problem. So now what I want to do is enable um, AAA on the switch. I'm going to go under configure terminal. And the first command is AAA new model. This is going to enable uh, AAA in this device. And then I'm going to define my radio server. I will do radius um, server host you know what first of all maybe let's enable radius first let's enable radius on the server itself so let's go under the server we already have an ip address of course as you can see here so what i want to do is go under services triple a and then i'm going to enable by switching to on and the port is there the port the default port so i need to add as you can see here we have two sections this first section need to contain the devices that are going to authenticate using this server. And the second section here will have to include the users that are going to authenticate here. So first of all, let's include the devices. The first device is going to be the router named R1. The IP is 10.0.0.1. The secret password, I'm just going to do password because it's a lab. We don't have to be very... Um, uh, very careful about that so the second one is the switch number one the client ip is going to be 10.0.0.5 so when it says client because uh from the server's perspective the switch is the client for the radio service so it's 0 uh, five, and then it's going to be password for the secret and that's it i can just add it and for the users, let's create the first one. It's called Gi. The password is Bisuku. I'm going to add it. Was it correct? Bisuku. Okay. And then um, new user, admin, password. Okay. So we have two users and we have two clients. That is it for the server. So I can just... Uh, exit and then go back here the host is going to be 10.0.0.2 this is my radio server and then i'm going to do key and then give it the password which is password and then i have to make sure triple a is used for authentication so that is going to be this command here triple a authentication login defaults group radius which means i'm going to use radius for my authentication and then i'm going to do the same thing for the enable password so i'm going to come back here and do enable all right so once i do that i should be able to go in one of my devices here let's go in the in this and go under telnet ssh it's down here or telnet ssh client so when i click on it I need to put the IP of the device, 10.0.0.5. This is for the switch. And then I'm going to put the username I need to use. It's admin, for example. And then I'm going to connect. As you can see, it's asking me for a password. I'm going to do password because that is what was configured on the radio server. Sometimes it takes a moment because it has to go to the server, authenticate, and get a confirmation. We should be able to log in without any problem from here. All right. As you can see, we are inside the switch. I can do enable. It's going to ask for the pass for the user. It's going to be admin, password, and I'm in the privilege mode, as you can see. So that works well for the switch. 
Now I need to do the same thing for the router as well. So I will need to go under config T and then do AAA new model. And here I need to configure, for the router it's a little different. I need to do, I think, radius server. I need to give it a name here. I'm gonna call it main. And then inside I need to do address IPv4 and say 10.0.0.2 and then the key is going to be password all right so that is it and then i'm going to do oh no i need to go back to config t and then do aaa authentication um login group on the login default group radius and then i'll do the same thing for the enabled password as well all right and that's it so if i go back this time let's use the laptop and i go inside under ssh client 10.0.0.1 and then i'm going to use gi this time and i'm going i can connect password bisuku and i should be able to log in uh yep i am in i can also go under the enable and then put gi bisuku no no wait bisuku yes i'm in that's how you do it guys this is how you can configure radius on your network and of course in this kind of design here the radius server can be anything it can be for the authenticator it can be cisco ice it can it can be any like like a linux server running radius on it it depends on what you use in your infrastructure and then these devices here are going to look up to it and point to it for authentication you may also have some local users like some admin accounts locally in case you don't have access to the radio server but it's usually i mean yeah you may have that but not everybody will have access to that all the other users inside your company will be managed in a single location using a radio server that's all for today guys if you didn't if you have any question you can go in the forum or the, co the community you can ask your question there i'll be glad to respond or you can also check out the link i'm going to leave down here in the description for more about the design or about the configuration we did today and again if you like the video this is part of the ccna training on kbtrainings.com goes from zero to engineer will teach you everything you need to know to take and pass the ccna exam and uh, if you like the video on youtube make sure you hit like and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any of my future videos i create a lot of videos on cisco fortinet um even palo alto coming in the future but i share with you a lot of my project here my data center and everything so make sure you subscribe to the channel and you follow me on social media thank you so much and uh, see you in the next one take care bye